Welcome back. This is day two of add and subtract fractions with unlike denominators. And yesterday we reminded ourselves that a fraction has a numerator, the number on top, and a denominator, the number on bottom. And yesterday we also talked about looking for factor, checking for factors. So we're going to start with our first problem. And when we say checking for factors, we're checking for if one of the denominators goes into the other one. So does four go into five evenly? No. Does five go into four evenly? No. So that's not going to work for us, but it's really nice when it does. It's a little bit less work. So what we're going to do is we're going to multiply by one using one of anything divided by itself equals one, right? And since fractions are division problems, that means that these are all equal to one. And when we do this, we don't change the value of the fraction, we just change the way that it looks. So if we will multiply the 1 fourth times this version of one, we're gonna get 20. And if we, so we used this five, right? Five over five over, over here. And if we multiply this side by the denominator over here, we're also going to get 20. If we do that, we'll get the same number on both sides, which is really what we're trying to do here. So let's try it. 5 times 1 is 5. 5 times 4 is 20. Still have our subtraction. 1 times 4 is 4. And 5 times 4 is 20. Now we can subtract the numerators and keep the denominator. So 5 minus 4 is 1 and we keep 20 as our denominator. Okay, not so bad. So I want you to look at this next one and check for factors. Three doesn't go into seven, seven doesn't go into three. So we can always change our, to find a common denominator, we can always change up our fractions by multiplying by one. In this case, this one we want to multiply by this 7 over 7, and on this side, we're going to multiply it by 3 over 3, because the denominator on the left is 3. And you can see how you got a 7 times 3 and a 7 times 3, which means you're going to end up with the same denominator. So 7 times 2 is 14, and 7 times 3 is 21. Still keep our subtraction. 4 times 3 is 12, and 7 times 3 is 21. And now we can just subtract. So 14 minus 12 is 2, and we keep our denominator. And then we're all done. So um, good luck with that. If you need to watch this again, if, if it's new for you or you need a refresher, you can watch the video as many times as you'd like. Talk to you soon. Bye.